in the last video, this is where we stopped. Uh, we were graphing this parabola, sorry, uh, the ellipse. So here we saw, uh, let me go back. So we saw the center. The center was one, negative one comma three. Uh, the major radius is phi, minor radius is two, and the focal length is 4.6. So one focal length would be 4.6 to the right, and the one other would be 4.6 to the left. So let me show. So this is, we started with the center, which is uh, negative 1, comma 3. The major radius was phi, so you had to go phi to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, phi, and phi to the left. So this line, or this line segment is called the major axis. And the minor radius was 2, so you had to go 2 up and 2 down. So these are the four vertices. We'll check that on a calculator. So, uh, so if you go 4 to the right, so these are the vertices. You can check that. That's not difficult. Now, this is a crucial point. That is the, the focus, okay? Or the distance from year to year is called the focus focal length. So what I have done is, you got from here you have to go 4.6 to the right okay so this is negative 1 from negative 1 if you go 4.6 to the right you reach 3.6 and from negative 1 if you go 4.6 to the left you reach minus 5.6 and that's why these are the two four side now this graph doesn't have an x intercept so uh, in some exams they mean uh, they may want you to explain why it, of course the graphically you can see it doesn't have any x intercept and the y intercept that you have is almost 5 and 1 okay you can see 5 and 1 are but you have to show that algebraically that it doesn't have any x intercept and the y intercepts are 1 and 5 so I have worked that out so you should be knowing that x-intercept you get when y is equal to 0. Okay. So this is my working. So you, I say, okay, x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. Now this is the equation that we have, which is from here. Okay. So I have uh, rewritten this equation down here. So x plus 1 squared over 25 plus y minus 3, the whole squared over 4 is 1. Now I put y is equal to 0, so this remains the same, and this is negative 3 squared is 9, so 9 quarter. And uh, I have taken away 9 quarters from both sides, so 1 minus 9 quarter is, you can check that on the calculator. Now here, yeah, and then you can cross multiply, or I have multiplied 25 to both sides. If you multiply 25 to both sides, you end up with this. Now what does this now here, from here, you have to use your logic. Now here, this is a perfect square. And if you square, irrespective of the value of x, whatever the value of x, this square would always be greater than equal to, so I can say that x plus 1, the whole squared, will always be greater than equal to 1. Okay, because if you set this equal to 0, 0 plus 1, the whole square is equal to 1. If this is positive or negative, and if you square that, that will be greater than 1. Now, this is never going to happen. This can never be equal to minus 31.25, negative 31.25, and that's why I wrote it's not possible. And that's why it doesn't have any. So, what does this mean? This implies no x-intercepts. So you can say that this means doesn't have any x-intercepts. So that's we have shown uh, algebraically. Now to get the y-intercept, the same logic, I've set x is equal to 0. So the same process, when I set x is equal to 0, 1 25th plus this is equal to 1, and and this is simple manipulation, 1 minus 1 25th is 24 25th. And then I have multiplied both sides by 4. So you've got y minus 3, the whole square is 96 over 
25. And if you remove the square, you have to find the square root. So you have to have plus or minus square root of 96 over 25, the whole number. So ultimately you come here. So y is 3 plus square root of 96 over 25. And I'll show this on a calculator. So you go to graph. And so you have got 3 plus square root of, I'll put this in the bracket, 96 divided by 25. Close the bracket, equal. That is 4.95, this big number. This big number, that's almost 5. This is almost 5. And if you put a minus there, and I'll delete, I'll delete, and that will be minus 1.04, dot, 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 and that's almost 1. And that's why uh, when we look at the graph, this is almost 5 and this is almost 1. Okay, so this is a perfect. Now let me, let us check this on the calculator. So go to your conic section menu, go to conics, and you have to go to your cone, sorry, ellipse. This is the ellipse equation. Okay, so, so let us execute. What's my A? This is 25. A squared is 25, so A has to be 5. That's the major radius. B squared is 4, so B has to be 2. Okay. Your H is negative 1. And your K is 3. And then draw it and check. Okay, so let me scroll up a little, a little more, here we go. So this is the ellipse and you can match this with this. So we'll check all the values. So first we'll start with the focus or we'll start with the center. Okay, center is negative 1, negative 1, 3. Okay, again G solve. The next is, we'll find the focus. Okay. Or uh, let us look at the vertices, that is F4. So that is 4, comma 3, 4, comma 3. This is that point, 4, comma 3. And uh, the next is negative 1, negative 1. You can see that. The next is negative 6, negative 6, 3. You can match that. And uh, the final is negative 1, 5. Okay. Now, the focus... 3.58 okay you can check that 3.58 uh, here uh, this is 3 point we took 3.6 okay so we got 3.6 this is almost 3.6 and this is almost 5.63 okay so we have confirmed all uh, all the critical points okay so see you in the next video